Hi, I'm Vivian. I'm from class of 2019. I got into art when I was in primary 3, mainly because of anime. I watch a lot of anime and then I'll, I'll draw a lot of very simple drawings. What made me really continue was when I showed my grandpa, who was like 80, and he only speaks Chinese, we couldn't really communicate. He saw my drawings and he was like, wow, this is so pretty, like you should continue, this is very good. It can be a bridge between me and my grandparents. In secondary school, I was an extremely shy person. I didn't dare to make friends with anyone. I had a boyfriend during that time and I was so attached to him that I didn't have a reason to meet anyone else. Plus, I was very, very scared of people. The boys would be like, oh, you have a boyfriend, I, w I don't want to get close to you. My boyfriend would get jealous. And the girls would, wouldn't want to um, disturb our happy time. But then, it wasn't very happy. I was too attached and I got very, very, very reserved and very sad and shy. And because of that, I couldn't really uh, stand up to my parents. I, I was very scared of going against my parents. I really didn't like myself in secondary school. I wanted to fake it till I make it. I took a lot of part-time jobs, waitering, working at Popular, giving out flyers, because no one knew me there. So I just acted like a, a very enthusiastic and happy and very talkative person. And somehow it, it worked. Slowly, slowly, I found more courage to say things I always wanted to say. Maybe the motivation isn't that great, but now I'm, I'm not trying to copy anyone. I really like myself. I became a lot more bright and happy. I like to see someone and then subconsciously I think of a colour. And so I ask people like, don't you think he feels kind of white? Not, not in a racial sense, or kind of orange. And then they usually ask me what I mean, but I don't know, it's just a feeling. It doesn't really mean that everyone who's orange has the same traits. It's just a, a vibe. And interestingly enough, Quite a few people that I asked come out of the same colour that I had. So I don't think it's a me thing, I just think people don't think about it as much. I don't know what colour I am. I don't know how other people see me. <laughs> eee. I think that a very well written, uh, sad paragraph just feels, feels very shook. <laughs> it just feels very, very satisfying to read. I actually feel quite calm. Sometimes when I listen to a few sad songs that I like. Not because I feel sad, a weird thing. My worst times have been felt by other people before and I'm not alone and I feel calm. I wanted to be a baker. <laughs> I watched an anime called Yakitate Japan. Whenever they built they bake bread, when someone ate the bread, they would have an amazing reaction, like they turned into a plant or something. It looked very good on screen. Plus I like bread. Mm. I did a small sculpture in like for, I was very interested in slum houses for some reason. They like to stack it on one another because there's so little space. I'm probably romanticizing this, but I think it looks, it just looks very interesting and very pretty. Yeah, I basically made an egg and then the outside was filled with a lot of slum houses. There was a hole in the middle of all these slum houses into the egg. There was a light shining through and then inside there was a small little tree. So I always wanted to get into sculpture making. I can really feel the the clay like I really feel like I'm being part of the work in some sense the tactility of it I would love to make a, a face like a head like like how did God feel when he made a head you know and then I'll just make the nose and then the eyes 